just to yup spider-man 4 happy spider-man day by the way you feel me it's spider-man day today people didn't even know that international girlfriend there i didn't know that was on the same day that's that went there and i see clear switch up in the past so <laughs> and it's crazy because nobody expected him to be there because they they never announced it or nothing like that Thompson, and if you love Spider-Man, we have some amazing Spider-Man news today. Not actually for the amazing oh, Spider-Man. Oh, I pre-ordered mine. Uh, the Spider-Man game, the new one. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man character. Although, of course, we are going to be talking about Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and Tom Holland's Spider-Man as well in this video. But it looks like Tobey Maguire could be coming back to play Spider-Man once again this time, possibly in his own Oh, yeah, you're movie, real for that. Giving us a I can't wait till that come out. Four. The movie that we never got, that we were supposed to get. If you were unaware, mm. Sam Raimi, the legendary director, directed the first three Spider-Man films with Tobey Maguire. However, there was supposed to be a fourth Spider-Man. Sure, I'm glad. I hope. I think Andrew getting his third too. So was supposed to be the main villain of this. Film. That should need to happen. I've been waiting for that shit to happen for a minute now. And hate that happened with Spider-Man three. The studio decided not to make the film. And based off of previous interviews that we've seen, this really hurt Sam Raimi and it hurt Tobey Maguire. And it also kind of put, not necessarily a bad taste in Sam Raimi's mouth, mm. but it kind of left its mark. So we never thought we would be getting the fourth Spider-Man film with Sam Raimi directing and Tobey Maguire being the Spider-Man. However, a lot has changed recently. We've had Spider-Man no Bro, it's great in which Tobey Maguire <laughs> came back with Andrew Garfield felt that and one. Tom Holland. Then That's a, uh, when that nigga was pulling the train or stopping the train. In which Kevin Feige asked Sam Raimi to come back and direct it after they lost the director Scott Derrickson. So both since have made their return to Marvel and their debuts in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And now an actor from the Spider-Man franchise has stated that he has heard that Sam Raimi could possibly be doing Spider-Man 4 with Toby Maguire. He said this in an interview with comicbook.com, which of course we'll go over in this video and talk about what Why that picture for real. <laughs> He was straining hard as hell in that picture. Out on any of the latest news, and if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a nice. interview with Thomas Hayden Church. He played Flint Marco, aka Sandman, Sandman in Spider-Man 3, and he returned to play Sandman once again. In hey, you know what's crazy? Speaking of RDC, uh, I was watching like a little stream of theirs, and they didn't know who. Uh, like, granted, everybody not gonna know like you know superheroes or shit like that. You feel me? But like. You know, it's just nerdy niggas. I was just like, how y'all don't know who that is? It was like, um, excuse me. They watched the trailer for Craven. It was like, Craven, all of them, like literally all of them was like, who's that? Who's that? Craven, when they were not, they had watched, um, not the trailer, not the trailer. They, uh, watched the, the Spider Man 2 trailer, the gameplay. And they was like, who the hell is Craven? Like, who that? Who that? It was, everybody was like, y'all don't know who Craven is. Y'all don't know who Craven is. It was like, what movie was he in? What movie was he? You, yeah, y'all talk about y'all know. Y'all talk about we don't know. We not real Spider-Man fans. He was in no movies. I'm like nigga, <laughs> nigga. You think Spider-Man only got like four villains? Nigga, you only think the movies the only villains they got? Like, come on now. Like, Craven one of the most popular ones. It's like he like them there. I mean, granted, if you, he, it's not like you gonna know him off the rip like on some green goblin yeah on some green goblin shit like if i say green goblin most people will know who that is but yeah exactly the niggas only know anime no for real because i was like bro no way like no way y'all don't know who craven is come on like that's one of his most popular villains like he's literally a part of it like you would assume niggas if you know spider-man if you like spider-man you would just assume niggas know the sinister six at least you know you feel me electro sandman what uh Fucking Green Goblin, Vulture, like you know the regular niggas. Most of these niggas was in movies already, so you would assume they at least know the last two that wasn't shown, or at least or the last one that wasn't shown. I don't know. Like you would think they know somebody of the sort uh, of the sorts, but I was like, damn, these niggas don't even be watching for. They be watching the movies. I, I don't be mad. I ain't mad at it though. In another Spider-Man film, and that he's heard there could be a Spider-Man four. In oh. an interview with comicbook.com, I heard. Said, this nigga gossiping about Spider-Man, shaking my head. He he's spreading rumors. He's talking. About, I heard. He's talking about one of my aunties. To do another Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, and if that happens, I would probably campaign to maybe. Not gonna lie, I didn't know who Craven was when I first saw the Spider-Man two game plan. I just searched up for comic book. See, that's the thing is, for the average, like for everybody else, that's cool. 
Like, there's no problem with it, for real. It's just, I guess it's just the fact that they are, like, kind of, like, they're based around being nerds. Like, RDC, everybody know RDC niggas is some, like, some nerd niggas. Like, they love, you know, fiction. They like fucking like, anime, superhero shit, or superhero shit. So I would assume, that, I just assumed they did. They knew who he was. And I was just like, damn, they don't know. That's crazy. That kind of blew my mind a little bit, just a little bit. Now, what's really interesting about this is there's been a lot of rumors going on after Spider-Man No Way Home. This isn't the first time that we've heard somebody talk about Spider-Man 4. In fact, many insiders have stated that Sony is very interested in developing a Spider-Man 4 with mm. Tobey Maguire. And after Sam Raimi came back to do Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, he did say that that taste was out of his mouth. And that essentially he has moved on from the hate that Spider-Man 3 got. And we do know that he was pretty heartbroken that he didn't get to do Spider-Man 4. But after Spider-Man No Way Home came out, Tobey Maguire stated that he would love to return again as Spider-Man. He would love to do more. And I think after Spider-Man No Way Home, many fans would love to see um, Tobey Maguire come back. And I a would. story that could be about a completely different part of his Spider-Man's life. A life where he is married to MJ and possibly even has a daughter. May Parker Shit, they can rip it up into like how it is in the comics. Like one is the, well it kind of is like that. One is the amazing, one is the spectacular, one is the blah blah blah, you feel me? Because we know Andrew is the amazing. I would assume Miles is just Ultimate Spider-Man? So no, Ultimate Spider-Man is. Returning for a Spider -Man 4, along is that Miles? With Sam Raimi, the director of the original Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire. I don't know. That's interesting to think about. Now, as far as what it could be about, if they are going to go with what Spider-Man 4 was originally going to be about, this hmm. could be a fight between Spider-Man and Vulture, but a fight in a way that we've never really seen before. We also know... I mean, I wouldn't mind that. What the plot of this I ain't gonna lie, at this point, though... We didn't see so much Spider-Man shit. I want to see him fight somebody that's going to be stronger than the last few people he fought already. Animation and VFX designer for the film actually released test footage of what the fight between Spider-Man and Vulture was supposed to be like. But as far as mm. details of what Spider-Man 4 was supposed to be about, it was supposed to be about Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson's relationship oh, shit. being kind of thrown into turmoil by the arrival of Peter's new colleague, Felicia Hardy, a.k.a. Black, Black Cat. Cat, who was supposed to be played by Anne Hathaway. While attempting to navigate his feelings for Felicia, Peter must also battle the Vulture, a criminal mastermind who plans to seize control of New York City's criminal underworld. Unaware that the Vulture is Adrian Toomes, John Malkovich, Felicia's adopted oh, wow. father, and Peter's new boss at the Daily Bugle newspaper. Peter, Peter going to be a menace in the game. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Oh yeah, from that one trailer alone, I was like, oh yeah, he going crazy this one. For her father. She ends up defeating Peter, but spares his life and moves to Europe, while MJ moves to LA after learning that Peter cheated on her, and Peter rage quits being Spider-Man again. Now that was what Spider-Man rage quit. <laughs> could have been. Obviously, due to creative differences, this project never happened. And I think that it was probably a good thing at the time. I'm not sure this is what some fans would have really liked to see. And according mm. to some of the designers, some VFX designers, a lot of people didn't really see John Malkovich as Vulture. And I imagine that Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire will want to basically do something Damn. from scratch. Not completely from scratch. Of course, I'm sure they'll keep the continuity the same continuity. This would have been hard. I ain't gonna lie. I would have watched the fuck out of this. should be a sequel from Spider-Man 3. But we've already had a Vulture in the MCU. Technically, we still kind of have him if he's not transferred to the Sony universe yet. That's still kind of confusing to us. But we've seen Vulture. And again, we recently saw him in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. But luckily, there are just so many awesome Spider-Man characters that we could see Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man fight in Spider-Man 4. Plus, not to mention, mm. the MCU exists now, and it didn't before. So a whole different world, literally, of possibilities is now open. They could have a Spider-Man movie that sets place inside of the MCU, especially with incursions happening. Oh, right shit, now. he got stabbed. being a huge thing, it is, after all, the multiverse saga. There is just a ton of potential right now for a fourth Spider-Man film because there are just... Oh, bro, getting bodied. That they could go about making Let's see this. I want to see it. That's crazy. Of the 
MCU in a different universe, or they could simply have it exist in its own universe from before, the Sony universe. Again, keep it the same. Or they could technically do both, have it be a different universe and have Peter Parker be dragged into the MCU because of the events that are taking place in the MCU in the multiverse saga because of Kang. We have already heard rumors from some insiders and that Peter, 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 Peter is getting whooped. In Secret Wars, and he'll be alongside Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, something that everybody is truly excited to see. Yeah, I can't wait for Deadpool 3, too. Deadpool is going to be crazy. We've actually seen that take place because we know Hugh Jackman is returning as Wolverine, and if Tobey Maguire is returning as Spider Man, in which he already did return as Spider Man in No Way Home, then the possibility of Hugh Jackman and Tobey Maguire being together on screen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is getting. Oh, man. I'm my childhood, bro. Ah, crying in the movie theater. It happened. Madness. Everybody's together. Both ways. <laughs> he could dive into that again, or he could simply say, you know what? Let's just kind of focus on the world that we created before. Go back to that and make a sequel to Spider-Man 3 in the same universe, same storyline, same plot. We just get a new villain, get a new story for Spider-Man 4. Dreams will be complete. No, dead ass. I'll be the happiest person on earth. Life, obviously, since they're both a lot older than they were when Spider-Man 3 took place. Maybe say they're married. Maybe say they have May Parker. And we take it from there. Based off of what we heard in Spider-Man No Way Home, Tobey Maguire, of course, is still spider Yeah, we made it work. He, went through the portal, he said that. Wearing his Spider-Man suit under his clothes. And, the way and he was like, we made it work. Garfield Spider-Man made it seem like him and MJ found a way to make it work. Mm -hmm. together and him to still be spider-man because we know Bro, that that's gonna be crazy they need that i ain't gonna lie that little balance the that little um the pre little so run the little news. video we just watching that shit crazy now i would have low-key like to see that as a movie that would have been hard spider-man is on the way spider-man 4 with sam raimi and toby mcguire and again after no way home came out a lot of insiders came out and said that sony was looking to make this film Finally. So, fingers crossed, this is being discussed mm. at Sony right now, and that it actually happens. And if it does, let us know what you would like to see from it. What stories, what villains, whatever it is, what would you like to see from it? Let us Shit, I wouldn't mind seeing what they, this little thing they were showing. That would have been hard. I ain't gonna lie. But as of now, I don't know. Who, at this point, would Toby fight? Because we've seen, we seen the Spider-Man fight Mysterio. We've seen the Spider-Man fight Electro. We've seen one. I mean, the Rhino, we never really saw a Rhino fight. So, the Rhino, um, I mean, I guess uh, his Vulture. I don't know. There's plenty of people he could fight because he's only fought, what, Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, Octopus, Venom, and Sandman. But the thing is, if you want to count No Way Home, then he's technically fought all the people I just named plus Electro, plus the Lizard. And who else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That would be hard, though. I would love to see that. I pay. Hey, Marvel, take my money. Okay? Take it. Take it. Take it away.